evening, I'm Tom Bradley with the special One Network News Bulletin. As we reported earlier, there has been an arrest in the South Auckland serial rapist case. Our teams were there when police made the announcement just before 8 tonight. Here is a section of that news conference. Operation Park Detectives have today arrested a 37-year-old Maori male, currently living in Mount Albert and employed in South Auckland as a factory hand. The arrested person will, appeal, will appear in the Otahu District Court on Monday, 17 July, charged with a number of sexual crimes. The prosecution will allege that the arrested person is the individual commonly referred to as the South Auckland serial rapist. On behalf of the Operation Park investigation team, I wish to convey my sincere thanks and gratitude to the public of New Zealand, and in particular the South Auckland community, for their overwhelming support during the course of this protracted and difficult investigation. To the victims and their families, thank you for your patience and support during this traumatic and difficult period. I would also like to thank all those men who supplied blood samples for elimination during the course of the investigation for their cooperation. While I'm un unable to comment on matters which are sub judicae, I can state that this person was not arrested by chance. This arrest resulted from the efforts of a dedicated team of investigators who, despite some negative reactions from a few uninformed individuals, persevered with an investigation plan which has resulted in the identification and arrest of this alleged offender. The commitment, skills and dedication of my team has never wavered. We were united in the view that we owed it to the victims and their families to bring this investigation to a successful conclusion. That is my statement. Mr Manning, when did this individual first appear on the police suspect list? That is an evidential matter and I'm not prepared to comment on it. How I will not comment on matters which are evidential and which are sub judice. How many uh, sexual offences has he been charged with at this point in time? He has been charged with a single sexual crime. He will appear in court on Monday on a number of sexual crimes. The number of which I cannot indicate at this particular time. Can you that was Detective Inspector John Manning announcing just over one hour ago the arrest in the South Auckland serial rapist case. The arrested man is in police custody tonight and is due in court on Monday morning. This, of course, has been one of New Zealand's longest-running criminal inquiries. Maramena Roderick has been following the investigation for One Network News and has this summary. The attacks began more than six years ago in late 1988, but it wasn't until 1993 that police had their first major breakthrough. According to DNA testing, the string of rapes in South Auckland were being committed by the same man, prompting this frustrated remark last August. We just need to get one right call and the case is solved. Previously, police have forensically linked the rapist to 14 rapes, two in Otahuhu, three in Otara, two in Papatoetoe, one in Wiri, five in Manurewa, and the most recently linked attack, one in Mount Albert, the only one outside South Auckland. Apart from DNA evidence, police believe there are only two other clues to the rapist's identity. Last year they spoke of a yellow-handled screwdriver with a green dot left at the scene of an attack and a distinctive black woman's coat dropped at another address in September. Public outrage grew over the continuing attacks. Yeah, this guy's got to be stopped and caught. We can't even walk down the street on our own. After heavy criticism, police set up a special hotline and last October doubled the reward to $100,000. Then another sign that they were closing in. Five months ago, Operation Park, the rape inquiry team, was expanded by 22 officers, detectives from around the country. We have identified new lines of investigation that we want to follow up immediately. Police also invited men to come forward for DNA testing. That was a controversial move when they approached some members of the public who broadly fitted the rapist's description. Most, though, said they were happy to cooperate. Tonight, just after 7.45, the announcement that police had made an arrest. Maramena Roderick, One Network News. And just repeating, there has been an arrest in the South Auckland serial rapist case. 
The alleged offender is due in court on Monday. One Network News will continue following developments tomorrow night at 6 and on the news hour next week. For now, good night.